I'm Sue and I'm here today to share with you the installation instructions for the Vanishing Design Wall. When you get your Vanishing Design Wall, there will be an instruction packet with the hardware in it. It has very easy instructions and it has a few pieces of hardware. It will have in it two L brackets and eight screws, four two inch screws and four half inch screws. You'll take your L bracket and finding the studs in your wall, whether you do the knocking method or use a um, stud finder, put your brackets wherever your studs may be. If your studs are here and here, that works. If they're centered, that's great. If they're off over here, it doesn't really matter. Put your L bracket into the wall with your two inch screws. Once you've done that, rest your shelf on the L bracket, move it back and forth, put it where you want it, and then finish it by putting these, the, two, the half inch screws into it, into each. When you do get your design wall, the insert will be separate. I have installed it here already, but I just wanted to show you. There are two ends. There's the round nipple end, and then there's the notched end. You put the nipple end in first, and then you take the notch end and just drop it in to the notch side, which is on your left. Once you do install your vanishing design wall and get your insert in, you'll notice there's no tension on it. When you pull it down, it's not going to want to go back up. To set the tension, which is in the instructions, you'll pull it down a half, three quarters of the way, pull it down to about there, take it off, and hand roll it up. Once you've hand rolled it up, you'll place it back in the brackets, and that will give you the tension. We don't ship them with the tension on them because during shipping it would just spring anyway, so it's better to have you set it once you get it. And usually, yes, it is better to do with two people, but every once in a while I can do it by myself. <laughs> and you just kind of slide it through the little slot that's up there. There you go. And then you pull it down, and it's got tension on it. The next problem that we've run into is there's a few people that have had a hard time getting it to roll back up. They roll it down, and then they try to roll it up, and it just doesn't want to go. You really have to do this fast motion. And it's always better to do it with two hands so that when it rolls up, it rolls up straight instead of going off to one side. There's no problem with doing that. It just won't look straight when you get done. But the one thing you need to do is kind of flick your wrist. So you're holding it down like this. It can be all the way down. It can be up a little more. And you just flick your wrist and it rolls up. Follow it up with your hands. If you don't follow it up with your hands, it'll do the wop wop thing like blinds do. And you'll just have to go through the setting the tension again. So again, you just flop, just flick it down with your wrist and follow it up. That's all there is to it. Works really easy. Remember the wrist, do it quickly, follow it up. I use a step stool today. I can do it without the step stool, as you've seen in my previous video. So let me show you that. You just have to reach a little higher and follow it up. And there's your vanishing design wall. Thanks a lot. If you have any questions, be sure to give us a call or email us at sue at vanishingdesignwall.com. Have a great day and happy quilting!